All right, we are going to tie a hair jig, and I'm going to show you how. So, it's pretty simple stuff, and it's pretty cheap. So we're going to start off, is I have a small rattle, just one on this guy. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's pretty good clank. So what we're going to do is... Get our thread secure. I don't. Right. Snug to the head. Now you want to wrap this as tight as possible to stop it from moving around the shank of your hook. Don't need any special thread. This is just sewing thread. Pretty easy. That's not going nowhere. So now what we'll do, thread down towards the back of the hook. So now what we are going to do is I'm going to put some long flashy strand ribbon at the back. Do a couple loose wraps to get it on there and then tighten her down. It's not going nowhere. We will repeat that a couple more times. Lots of flash. This is going to be one mean marabou jig. Alright, not going anywhere. So now this is the key right here. So you want to wrap it nice and tight right to the end of where you've already wrapped. Now the next we're going to go just past where you've already wrapped and pull tight. And what that's going to do is that's going to actually flare up these ribbons so that they all just don't stick together in one clump. So we'll do that. Go up to the middle of the body. And when those are suspended in the water, they'll actually flare up rather than sit closed. Okay. So now that we've got our flashy ribbon on the back of our jig we're going to move along throw some marabou on it and by me marabou I mean not real marabou I bought this at Dollarama it is a feather so what we are going to do is I'm just going to take this pull down and if you're gentle enough you can actually pull it right off Just like that, and it all stays perfectly together, just like that. Now what I'll do, straighten that out like that. I'm going to lock that down. A couple loose wraps, every time you're putting something on, put a couple loose wraps and then tighten it. You'll be able to get it exactly where you want it, and it won't roll around your shank or your hook. Alright, there we go. So we're going to repeat that step probably four or five times for the back of the tail. And then move on to the body. This is going to make a laker so angry. Okay, so for the body, it's pretty simple. I'll just use the feather again. Instead of ripping it, I'm going to cut it, because I'm going to actually use it as dubbing. It's on the material of this jig. Pretty much just got to pay for the price of a head. So I'm going to spin this hair onto this thread. 
fairly well because you don't want it going nowhere. And then we're just going to wrap it. Build that body up a little bit. tail and then a little bit of flash on the end just gotta build the rest of the body and she's done this is going to be a good one Tie that back there. Secure that in place. This looks so good. Okay, finish that off there. That is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. We're going to just whip finish that off here. the excess thread and that my friends is an absolute fire jig oh, there. All right, let's see if I can get a good picture of that that is a big one that is fluffy oh yeah look at that thing and It's loud. Oh, yeah. My next video that is going to get bit. <laughs>